So Jack, as president of a college, how does a community college in a suburb of Seattle impact the world? Well, at Highline College, you know, we kind of focus on three areas. We have a significant number of international students, and we like to believe that that is an opportunity to engage at a person-to-person -person level, public diplomacy writ small. Uh, we've been involved in a number of development projects over the years, and uh, we have the Center of Excellence for Global Trade and Supply Chain Management. So we kind of cover a number of areas that we think are important in higher education and in uh, relationships across the world. You know, diversity is a strength, no question about it. How is it a strength at a college? Well, for us, I think uh, it, two of our core themes that overlap are uh, global perspective and, and diversity. It, at our institution, we're about 75% students of color. Uh, about 120 to 130 languages are spoken in the homes in our community and the sense of doing asset-based education and having those, res those students partly responsible for the educational environment yeah. of what we are as an institution and what we offer uh, is a tremendous strength in uh, providing cultural competency and for all our students to be competitive in the job market and hopefully in bringing people together. How do you know that you're relevant to what students from around the world want to do? A couple of things, you know, our professional technical programs, the more applied areas, global trade in, in, the, in the more applied sense, uh, uh, apply, bachelor of applied sciences and supply chain management. You know, we work closely with business and industry. We work closely with business and industry globally to make sure that the skills that students are getting are responsive to the industry. Uh, it was interesting when we started our Center of Excellence, we had a small US aid project in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, working with Nelson Mandela University to help build a program that would be responsive to entry-level jobs and international freight forwarding at the new Deepwater Port. And so doing uh, focus groups there with businesses about what was needed in those skill sets uh, and how that matched up with what we heard from our local folks here and as we developed our own curriculum. I think that's one, one way. And then, of course, as you get feedback from your students and, the, and their employability and the employment rates, uh, the way they get a position in their field and at what level. How many languages are spoken at Highline College? Uh, spoken? Uh, well, I think we reflect the community, so certainly well over a hundred. Oh my gosh. We don't, we don't teach them all. We try to provide an avenue where people get credit for those, academic credit at uh, university level. It's part of our asset-based approach. We try and, uh, you know, in our country sometimes we get a little English-centric, to say the least. We try to use higher education as a way to value those skills that people bring to us and that language capacity is uh, substantial for us. And in, a, and in a field like trade, I mean, what an asset to local industry. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about our host a little bit, Global Washington. What kind of uh, uh, activities does Highline College and Global Washington do together or what can you do together? Yeah, I think to be blunt, we, you know, we haven't been as much of a contributor as, as I would like. I mean, we're particularly interested. We've done a lot of development work in South Africa, Namibia, Indonesia, Egypt, places like that. Relatively small projects, but a significant number. And Global Washington plays such a leading role in bringing people in that industry, if you will, together in this area and to create a kind of synergy and a, a great value added about conversations and experience that put you in a position to do a better job. Uh, so I think for us that was both the initial attraction and what's been probably the biggest value. It's, it's not passive networking, it's being able to talk 
substance and to share ideas and to take away strategies that, that make you better, that make you more impactful. So Jack, I know as a, as a president of a, of a college, you've got to look ahead a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to look ahead, let's say three years, how do you think, you, what do you think is going to happen from Highline College's global impact over the next three years? I jokingly, but it's not really a joke, I talk about world peace one student at a time. Uh, for us, global and our international student programs, is not something that's on the side, it's not something on the margin. It's integrated into the campus. It's part of our Center for Leadership and Service amongst our students. And so, I, you know, we're very intentional about trying to create an ethic where people see that they're part of a global society, that no matter what the national narrative and political dialogue is, the global economy is real, and we try to prepare people to operate in that in an ethical fashion. We're uh, interested that our values as an open access, inclusive institution, our values that are part of the students' education and how they engage others around the world. So I hope in a you know on a person-to-person -person sense that that's an ongoing momentum and ongoing impact. Uh, you know, in tangible ways, I think we'll be a larger part of the conversation about trade and supply chain management in the area, being real close to the airport and having those partnerships. We will have more international students. We will bring those into our community, and more importantly, we'll bring those voices into how education's defined. Jack, thank you very much for being with us. Hey, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.